decided to come over to Niagara Falls. I have never been here before. The falls you can see behind me and we're going to get on the Maid of the Mist so that ought to be really interesting because I'm sure I'm going to get drenched and my hair is going to be a mess from the humidity but we're looking forward to a great time. We're waiting in line so I need to get my poncho on so maybe I won't get as wet as some of these people are that I see coming off the boat. Oh my. Wow. New outfit for a while. The boat is taking off and this is going to be really cool. I'm so excited. You can tell that we're getting ready to head into the fall. So hopefully, you know, we get some great shots today. Oh, you can walk that, babe. We just got off the Maid of the Mist boat ride. That was an amazing little trip. For those of you that have never been here, it was $25 per adult to, um, to get in. And it takes about 20 minutes from start to finish. We were lucky we were able to get downstairs and the boat was loading right when we got there so we didn't have to wait very long. It is a holiday weekend being 4th of July so the area is packed. Um, parking was really kind of tricky to get in and it ranges anywhere from ten to thirty dollars on up But you're just gonna have to park wherever you can park especially on a holiday weekend now that we're off the boat ride We're just kind of walking um, the area we're standing in front of where the first set of falls that I got to see on the boat ride was I think it's called the bridal veil We're at the top of it and you can see it kind of emptying down and then the horseshoes all the way in the back you know, it's really pretty outside. The entire road trip so far, it has poured on us. So I'm glad that the sun's out and we're able to get out and enjoy. We're going to just kind of keep walking around and seeing what else we can do while we're here. you're going to be 
be able to hear me or not because I'm walking next to the river. Um, we crossed the bridge and now we are on Goat Island. We're trying to get to the other side of that little Bridalville Falls that we had showed you earlier. Um, kind of shady right here, so it's nice. Even though I love that the sun's out, it is getting a little warm in some spots. And we're I'm getting closer. I know at the last little marker that I saw, we had point um, one five miles to still walk to get to the bridge to take us to the other side of the falls that we were trying to get to. Um, we're hoping that we can get across. I don't think it's going to be close. And then we have yet to find that other spot where. We saw people walking right next to the falls and getting drenched while we were on the boat. So we're still going to have to do some exploring, I guess, after we get to this park. Horseshoe Falls. It took about a couple mile walk. Um, for those of you that don't want to walk, there is a trolley available that you can get on and it can take you here. You know, this is one of those places that it's been absolutely beautiful. Pictures and books and on videos just really can't describe what it looks like when you actually get here in person. If you've never been here before, I highly recommend taking a trip up to Niagara Falls. Um, maybe the Canadian side at some point will be open. You can get to that side too. But being on the American side, we've seen everything. You know, it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. It's just amazing. Words can't really describe. So, you know, we're going to um, walk just a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and end my video here. And um, until next time, stay safe.